Welcome back to my daily report market analysis videos with me, Richard Perry, market analyst at Handtech on Tuesday, the 7th of April. Looking at Euro dollar, which has turned a bit of a near term corner, the dollar has started to correct. Euro has started to have a little bit of a recovery. Um, and that has added, what, 90 pips of, uh, of rebound today to the euro, breaking back above 23.6% uh, fib. Uh, which had been the basis of resistance yesterday, 108.35, is an interesting breakout because you can see here on the hourly chart is also a little base pattern. Um, implied sort of 60 pips or so of recovery target. So we've already seen that pretty much this morning. So the implied target that recovery has already been seen. However, what we'd say is that on a near term basis, the corner has been turned, the market ticking higher, momentum indicators uh, sort of. Picking up slightly, I, mean, I don't think you could class that as positive signals yet, um, but certainly momentum indicators picking up. I sort of said in my trading webinar that I hosted earlier this morning, um, I think this is a near term move uh, for Euro dollar. I can see that uh, Euro dollar, little bit of a near term gain, perhaps um, a few sessions higher. Uh, you've got overhead supply that uh, runs fairly significant 109.63, 38.2% 30 FIB. 109.80 is this, these old lows from November, December. Um, it's also comprised this breakdown point, 109.50. I'll show you that on the hourly chart. Sort of head and shoulders top area with neckline around that 150 mark. Uh, yeah, you sort of scrape to 109.70 before falling over in that uh, rally uh, middle of end last week. But um, you'd say that that is now resistance of overhead supply around 109.50. So you, you're sort of approaching an area of interesting uh, turning points. If you went above 109.70, you then start to decisively pull higher. Um, you're through that FIB level. I mean, you could, I suppose, extend it to 109.80, but you, you can understand where, where I'm getting at. You're starting to get through all this these resistances that um, we've seen uh, and sort of pivot lines and things like that. So that would be your improvement um, where you see more of a sustainable run higher. At the moment, I think it's just still a near term move you've, and you, you're going with it considering you've got the move, momentum indicators on the hourly more positively configured. But I'd be cautious about trading it too much, too far, too long on the upside before the likelihood of a turning move lower. So a um, little bit of a rebound on euro dollar, but I'm not expecting it to be too much of a, of a sustainable move before likely resumption of the dollar strength in due course. So with that in mind, I wish you good luck in your trading today. Click here to subscribe to our analysis videos and go to our website to sign up for our webinars.